and co-journers. A few days back, we traveled from near and far to gather here. And what a gathering it has been. We arrived with suitcases full of roles and responsibilities, but left them at the door to return to ourselves. We embraced, reconnected with dear friends, and made new ones. Safe at last, we shared bravely and wept, only to discover that since we last parted in Accra, our hearts have broken again and again in many of the same ways. In the past few years, we confided. We have also healed and found inspiration in many of the same things, mostly simple things, a daughter's wedding, a new grandchild, a creative project, a garden. Reunited, we played, giggled, silly children at the back of the bus. Huddled on couches or over meals, we laid bare our worries and shared new ideas. What do you think, we asked. We grieved, taking a moment from time to time to mourn our departed, those we knew and loved, and those we never met, but who shared our last name, human. And together we pondered aloud how fragile our lives and lifestyles truly are. Since we got here, we know more, so much more. We understand now that we humans have a huge potential for evil, and at once a bottomless reservoir of courage, even when it costs us everything. We learned that words can build up or tear down. If you baptize somebody corrupt or cockroach, expect consequences. Better to stumble with a toe than with a tongue. Speaking of speaking, we learned that Africa has classics after all. A rich and ancient philosophy. A lamp to guide our feet. Also, our ancestors really worried about lice. <laughs> we realized that in the end, all answers are not for human beings to know that I can only do my part in our combined greater work, and that I can count on you to tell me the truth when I lose my way or my nerve. We learned that Pan-Africanism starts on the dance floor. <laughs> I may not know all your songs or dances, but if you'll teach me, I'm willing to learn. To our surprise, it dawned on us, we need not have hired a band at all. <laughs> Ali, by all indications, is a self-contained traveling circus. <laughs> we learned to hold the light, inspired by each other, but most of all by Rwanda, who taught us how in our imperfect world we can repair and stitch together what beauty is left. The choice is up to us. We saw that from fashion to tech, to grabbing the mic and hosting a conference, to healing a nation and writing a new story, the next generation of Africans are worthy custodians of our collective future. <laughs> we encountered hope and hope. <laughs> We learned that love lives here. So, as we at the Africa Leadership Initiative East Africa hand over the baton to our colleagues at Ali South Africa, who will host the 2025 Africa Impact Forum, we do so with pride. I would like to invite Saki Makuzoma, the chair of Ali South Africa, up to the stage. Chairman, I give you this rungu, a traditional talking stick held by elders in East Africa. We hope that it will serve as a reminder of our warm affection and of the shared values and aspirations that bind us together. I want to once again express my and our gratitude to all of you for being part of Africa Impact Forum 2023. 
I trust you leave here refreshed with renewed purpose, knowing that we have the power to shape Africa's future. And to our friends who travel to be with us, before you go, remember the Kikuyu proverb that says, which means the path to your beloveds is never uphill. <laughs> we thank you for coming to East Africa and hope to see you back soon. Kwaheri ya kuonana and God bless Africa. Thank mm -hmm. you.